Hello guys, it's Remembrance Sunday today. I just want to say that Remembrance Sunday is ultimately just a trend. It doesn't symbolize true morality. It's basically superficial morality. The majority of people I see who are so passionate about events like Remembrance Sunday are only doing that because it's been indoctrinated into them. These people generally ignore and reject and neglect real-time injustices. In fact, they take part in them and they don't care about it. And the reason they don't care about it is because it's not popular to care about it. And this is the way humans operate. It's quite scary when you truly think about it. It's like everything is just an automated response. It's, it's conditioning, social conditioning. It's not true morality. Most people aren't good or bad. They just are. In the past couple of weeks, we've had Halloween. We've had bonfire night and fireworks night and soon is going to be Christmas. Everything is just a trend. You talk about the climate crisis, which causes and is causing suffering for so many people right now, like right now, literally, and it's going to cause incredible suffering in future. And nobody cares. But then when it comes to Remembrance Sunday, of course, I have to pretend that I care. It's quite strange. It's like a clown world that we live in. We really have developed a world where people don't really have true integrity or honor or morals. This is something that I've realized over the years and it was hard for me to deal with because it basically destroys the whole idea that humans are majoritively good because I know for a fact they aren't. Humans majoritively are just like cells in a petri dish that can be stimulated and manipulated and controlled and exploited. Most people cannot think for themselves. You know, it's like I made a post on my Facebook page the other day about Halloween and how it is basically just a superficial event and people shouldn't take part in it because we should be focusing on more uh, the bigger picture, like the climate crisis. Somebody said to me when I said about Halloween, somebody said, why are you trying to ruin our fun? You know, why are you being a spoil sport? People think that Halloween is all about fun. They don't even know why Halloween exists or what it, what it represents. It represents darkness and death and transitioning into the death season, the winter season. People used to believe that this season was the transition between the living and the dead and that in these months, the dead could come into the living world. There is nothing fun or positive about that. They are so much indoctrinated by society that they let society determine when and where they should have fun. People are sheep. And that is why the world will never change. That is why we are at a stage in human history where climate change is so severe and so drastic because people have not got the capacity to overcome emotional instincts and evolve to a level that is psychologically needed to tackle this crisis. You know, it's, it's, I, I sometimes envy people who are completely determined by society, who have their lives determined by society, because it must be a very safe way to live life and a very easy way to live life. Like certainty, you know? How can you be certain in this world, you know? There are so many contradictions within society. Even if we do overcome the climate crisis, which 99% I'm sure we won't, even if we were to overcome that hypothetically, there's just gonna be another problem that comes up because Climate change is just becoming a trend for people as well, you know? It's the people who it's the people who care without anyone else telling them to care or without the tribe caring as well. Those are the people who truly care and that is the stage that every human has to get to, but I think that may be logically impossible because that's the way that humanity is wired. Why did so many Nazis kill Jews in World War II? Why did so many Germans become Nazis? It was because it was permitted within society at that given time. They were brainwashed. And what does that prove to you? The real problem is human psychology and tribal mentality, mob mentality, even sports, nationality. It's just like, look at how many people lose their minds and their emotions change, happy to sad, sad to happy, depending on whether their team wins or loses the game like a team that they have absolutely no connection with a team that is playing of which they have absolutely no control over the direction of how they are playing or where they are going or whether they're energetic or lazy or feeling fit removing sports is a huge one because it enables 
tribal mentality, which is something that we should have left behind. But we need the whole of humanity to get to that level if we want to evolve uh, and save ourselves, which at this point, if I'm honest, I don't even think we're worth saving at all, if I'm honest. I think a small portion of people are, are worth saving. So yeah, I don't think we're worth saving. I'm gonna try to just accept everything. It is what it is. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you again soon.